Hi, my name is Kellen McCarthy and I am a distance student in MAE 535 and I will be giving my presentation on the piezoelectric effect. I will go over how a common household lighter uses this uh, direct piezoelectric effect and how a buzzer uses the reverse piezoelectric effect. So let's get started. The first application that I'll be talking about is a household lighter which you can see I, I took a part all the pieces are shown here and the part that you actually squeeze create the spark is shown here and this ho it holds the piezoelectric material which uh, there are se several different types of material there's crystal and ceramic and even wood but most likely this has uh, ceramic or crystal material in there uh, and um, I have it hooked up to my multimeter to test the voltage that's produced whenever you um, compress the material so let's give this a go let's see a little bit of a spark there Voltage will depend on how how much the material is deformed or compressed. I've with this one I've been able to see voltages up to about two and a half, uh, which isn't too too high. But the larger material and the more deformation you get, higher voltages. And the way this works is the material that has electrical charges throughout it uh, it's symmetrically aligned and when the material is compressed it throws that symmetry off and a charge is generated across the material and that's how this little piece here is a, can make a spark uh, to light a fire and this is also the direct piezoelectric effect because we're deforming material and a voltage is made. And here is the piezo buzzer and how it works is it takes a input voltage, in this case it's DC, uh, and I have a 9 volt battery running it, and it has a driving circuit inside here which manipulates the voltage uh, and what it does is it will input the voltage onto the piezoelectric material in a way that it will uh, vibrate and move and so this is the reverse piezoelectric effect and um, so let's find out what happens whenever we attach positive side here. I'll face it downward so it's not so loud and so in this case it's a pulsing one and you can get there several different kinds where they're just regular and um, so all that's moving in here is that little disc it's moving up and down because of the voltage and uh, which creates a sound it's moving pretty quickly so you can't really see it but it creates that sound and uh, so this is the reverse piezoelectric effect and here is the buzzer outside of its plastic casing on the right here is the driving circuit which will drive the voltage to the piezoelectric material which is here in the center and is ceramic and it will vibrate depending on what voltage is sent in and which creates sound waves that we hear. I removed the piezo material from the driving circuit and will now show how the voltage changes when you deform the material. I've hooked it up to my multimeter and let's see if I can't 
stop moving to get it th okay so now if I press it in you can see the voltage jumps up about 200 millivolts Let's see if I can get in here press it in change draws back down you can get pretty high depending on how how hard you push in uh, this is, again, the direct piezoelectric effect um, because we are deforming the material and a voltage is created because of that. And now what I've done is I've taken the piezoelectric material and I've attached it to the bottom of this can and I'm going to use it as a microphone. When I talk into the other side of this, the sound will vibrate the material which will induce a voltage which is fed into the speakers that the camera is sitting on and you should be able to hear my voice so let's try to give this a shot hello class A535 can you hear me? hello hello it sounds pretty muffled but it works and this is the direct piezoelectric effect uh, because the material is vibrating which induces a voltage. I have now shown you several different applications of the piezoelectric effect. There are many more out there including one from Ford where they're using it to control the amount of fuel flowing into a diesel engine. They apply a voltage which opens or closes a valve which is made of the piezoelectric material and they are able to reduce emissions and increase efficiencies uh, by being able to control the fuel flow more. Uh, I hope that I have helped you understand a little more about the piezoelectric effect and the reverse piezoelectric effect. And I uh, thank you for your time and hope you have a good summer.